Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're at Rail Explorers in Boulder City and we're gonna be riding these cool bikes right here. Located about 20 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, you will find Boulder City. And although this may seem like a small town, there is some big adventure to be had here. For about $44 per person, you can ride the rails and take a tour with Rails Explorers. This is a really cool activity to do off the strip, so let's get started. For Jennifer? Yeah. Perfect. Right, you're all set, so I'm going to go ahead and give you your boarding passes and a few bits of information for you. The bathrooms are the second building to your left. I do highly recommend that you both do use the restroom before we head out because there are no restrooms on the train or at the other end. There will be a safety briefing right here on the platform, so if you're not already here and ready to go with that, just keep your ears open and one of the guides will call out that we're going to get started, okay? Right. Okay, sounds right, good. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Here's our boarding pass. We just have to make sure it's visible from the chest up, so there you go. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> Something to do while you wait for your ride to start is to check out these historic trains from the collection at the Nevada State Railroad Museum. There is no additional charge to enter the museum and all they ask is that you do not touch any of the trains. After a quick safety briefing, it is now time to get on these bikes and get our ride on. You're on second, you're on first. Climb aboard. We can follow on up. So first thing I'll ask you to do is get your seat belts on, they come from the out. It's mostly downhill, so let the uh, weight of the bike do most of the work for you. Right. Once you reach those mountains down there, uh, so the whole journey is about four and a half miles. Once you reach those mountains, it's going to turn sharply to the right and it'll be a 2% uphill grade just for the last little stretch, the last quarter of a mile or so. Okay. Save your energy for the end. You'll get a little exercise. <laughs> I just don't want you to be surprised. Yeah. It's going to be easy on the way down, but <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to pedal on the way up. Okay. Okay. So let me give you the first of these brake tests. So squeeze that brake for me. Hold on to it. And you're freewheeling now. So as soon as the bike in front of you starts to move forward, you can follow them up. All right, and uh, Aaron will send you on your way. Enjoy the ride. Thank you. Sure. for the end. You'll get a little exercise. <laughs> I just don't want you to be surprised. So remember, this casino, you should feel the burn, but it's still really fun. After a 4.5 mile track, this is where you'll end up and where you'll be for about 15 to 20 minutes. We just finished our bike ride. This is where the trail ends right here. We got off the bikes. There are some chairs here for us. They said that you can bring some food, have a little picnic before we head back. And this is the view. Once you see this train coming, it is time to grab all your belongings and get ready to board the train. The train offers indoor and outdoor seating. And here's a little tip, if you want a great seat on the outside, go ahead and try to board the train first so that you're able to get a good selection. We boarded midway through and actually were able to grab the last seat for the outside train. We just got back on the train and we're headed back to the station. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop it down for me in the comment box below. I'll be sure to link all of the company's information down in the description box for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.